my creatives and welcome to another video. Today I want to make in a layout in the altered book uh, because I wanted to document that I created these um, specimen slides so I want to keep at least one for myself and in this journal to keep it as an idea. And I wanted to use a, an Edith Holden page. I already picked one out because well that took forever. Don't look at the back. <laughs> Uh, to pick one out with the plan that I had, um, I bought the, yeah, I know, I bought the pocket one, <laughs> so this is from the pocket size, uh, or the paperback size. And I want to put this card in this journal simply because I like it so much, I don't know, something so pleasing to it. So I went through my stash and I found some things and I already picked out a page. So I want to work in the altered book on a page where there are no pockets. So I have a pocket on this side, which is a side loading pocket. And I have two pockets on this side, uh, but I don't have any here because I changed the direction of folding my papers. So I decided that this would be a good uh, spot to create my page. Now, I have two pieces of ephemera that I want to incorporate and I want to have this Edith Holden page. Now, I also took out some collage material on this side because, of course, well, we need to do our backgrounds. I will remove my paper clips so I can properly work on these pages. I will attach them later again. Now, let's see. So I would definitely want to have this Edith Holden page here. And I think I am just going to glue this in directly. Yeah, I'm just going for it. Guys, I'm going for it. <laughs> I mean, this makes me uh, super, super anxious. But it's always um, with the first book or the first page from a book is always the most difficult one. Once the book is getting damaged and everything is taken out, it's easier and easier to use it. So, so, so I don't you normally don't have any problems with using books, but snow because I know how rare it is and how amazing. It's because I know. I wouldn't know. It would not be a problem at all. So let's see, line it up, stick it in, and I'll I keep this for myself, right? So I don't have to feel bad. I mean, I'm making a project for myself. It's not like I'm sending everything to other people. So I will add a piece of washi tape here in the middle over this part. But I think we are pretty good with putting it on straight. Now let's grab some scissors and cut off the excess piece. I like to do it like this because uh, if you saw the lab book video, part three, you know, I always cut papers either too long or too short. <laughs> so this is how I do it. Uh, I will keep this little scrap. Okay. Yes. I'm loving this. Now I need some inking and I guess I'll grab tea dye. So I have tea dye here. So let's do that on the sides of this page. I think that is quite good enough, right? Yeah. Good enough. Now, let's see. I think I want to add a strip of washi here, but I was also thinking I wanted to add a strip down here on the bottom. So I grabbed my Tim Holtz washi. Let's pick out one we would like to use. So I have this one here. It has a little bit of blue, that's why I picked it. I think I like this. Oh no, crooked. No, 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 no. <laughs> I sometimes still need to adjust 
to the fact that I can't be on top of my project with my face all the time. <laughs> uh, now I need a ruler. I hope this is going to be just a chill little project and not very difficult. At least that's what I'm aiming for, that this will be chill and a little project. <laughs> with just a bit of collage to warm up because I would like to film also today lab book part four. So let's see if I can manage. Now we take this one. Do I like, do I like this to be in the middle? Because of course I do want something else. Yes, I think I like it, but I'm not going to stick it all the way to the bottom. I'm just, uh, going to stick where the Edith Holden pages are a little bit on top of the other washi because I would like to have the collage look. So I don't want it to be perfectly covering up everything, you know. Let's see. I think this is somewhat straight. <laughs> I find this always the, the most difficult part to put things straight on. No, no, no. And let's see. Yeah, straight enough. And then put it here. And let's rip this little piece. So while I'm filming this, I am on a break from school and I needed that very much because now I feel actually how tired I am. So I just did a little nap <laughs> and now I felt ready to craft. Okay, so this is already lovely. <laughs> Getting excited. Uh, I wanted to have this one on this side as somewhat of a pocket or tuck spot. So I went to my Tim Holtz journaling cards and I picked out these two. And I think I would like this one to be here as a tuck spot so you can put it in there and take it out. But I was thinking, do I want it, you know, sideways or not? Maybe I want to have it like this. I know at least I'm going to ink the corners. I also went through ink the corners. I also went through my um, Tim Holtz stash of ephemera. I picked out some things because I need to use my stuff and not hoard my stuff. Let's see, I do really like this. I uh, picked out a few plants and butterflies and stuff so maybe this is really nice and then should we do maybe a little blue butterfly here and a yellow one here what do you think do we need a yellow flower to balance out the blue Or does it cover up too much? Hmm. Um, no, I don't think the yellow flower. I think this one. Because it also shows... Uh, shows a lot of the... Or do we want to just, you know, create a pocket? Because I think we can manage to make it into a pocket if we put a small strip of blue here. And on the top, then we can actually make this into a pocket. Maybe that would be even better. Yeah, okay. First, I need to ink this because this cardstock is way too white. And so let's ink it a little. Good enough. I am grabbing my blue. I'm going for the three sides. So I want to have it like this. Okay. 
I'm so proud of myself now for actually using my Tim Holtz stuff. I am a very big hoarder of things that I love. And that's such a waste because I absolutely forget what I have and I never make a project with them. So I'm on a mission to use my most precious things for projects for me. It's also because I send a, I send snail mail, of course. And then I feel like, yeah, but then it's gone. I can never look at it again. But now I decided to use these papers for me because I deserve this. And I can always buy more. So there will always be more. I have enough stuff, too much stuff. So I need to use it and not just hoard it. So that's my plan. And this altar book is helping me with that. To use the stuff, not just hoard the stuff. Okay. Loving this. Now these butterflies also need a little inking. And this one. I love the Edith Holman page. It looks great. Mm, here and here. Going to glue these down as well. I didn't want to do uh, two Edith Holden pages next to each other in the collage. I thought that would be too matchy matchy, right? So I do want to keep a little bit of the vibe of what I'm doing on this side of the page, but I want to do or use other things on the other side. I think I enjoy that a lot more. If I would do that. Uh, yes, here. Now, will this fit in here? Oh, yes, it does. Perfect. <gasps> okay, I'm super excited. Love it. Love it. Okay, now on this side, I wanted to... Of course, incorporate this card. So I thought I would create a tuck spot with another journal card. So let's ink that as well. First. So a little bit of tea dye. Then, uh, of course, I need something underneath, right? Because there's nothing here. So I thought I would create a, um, well, just a collage or Maybe something like a masterboard collage. So I picked out some scraps to use. I have some ledger here I thought would match a bit with the Edith Holden and some other bits and bobs, maybe a bit piece of this. I have this wallpaper, which I thought would fit in with the botanical theme on that side. So I think I want to use a little bit of this. Then some just text paper in different colors. So, uh, yeah, should we just start our collage? I want to have rectangle pieces this time. And let's just take a strip. Don't overthink this. The problem I have with this is that I can easily overthink how to collage. <laughs> and I don't want to overthink how I collage. So this is a coffee dyed scrapbook paper from a long, long time ago. I think this is from actually the first time I ever coffee dyed. Oh, six years ago, eight, eight years ago. Oh, my first time doing this. That's when I created this little journal and I never used it. But I now decided to use it as notes. So I will be actually writing in there. And it looks pretty on my desk here. So now I always have paper nearby and I actually use my journals. Because it's not a journal size I actually like to journal in. But I do have tons of notes, right? Uh, like last time with every measuring and stuff. How big of a piece do I want to have this? I think something like this, and then maybe 
we add this one here on top. Maybe a good idea to first do some dark pieces to balance that out and then balancing out the light pieces. And then work out what, what I need more. Mm, I also want to have a piece of this written ledger. So I will tear this and then let's do this piece. Oh, there's something stuck to it. Mm, maybe even two. And then, let's see. Some here. So what are you working on at the moment? Or are you on a break? Um, maybe you're not doing anything. Maybe just chilling with your craft supplies. I, like I said, I'm enjoying this free time very much. And working on some things for Kofi. I hope DHL will bring my toner tonight so I can film a tutorial with one of my digitals. Something that I created for in the Kofi page. So on, on the Kofi page. Huh? Then I can release everything that I want to release to all of you. Hopefully you like it. But we will see. Now that one over there. Then I think I need a piece of this paper. I don't care, by the way, if text is um, not straight on my page. I like it when it's upside down or whatever, because I feel I don't have to turn this, I can cut that. I feel like text is more of a design element and not something that is should be read in this case. So sometimes I even prefer to put it upside down because you don't have to read it. It's not meant to be read. And now this is Frisian, so this is oddly specific. <laughs> An oddly specific language that we have uh, where I live in the northern part of the Netherlands. It's like a mini master board doing this. I like it. I think I have to add some extra glue later on on the pieces where the wallpaper is and maybe even where the washi is because it's not really sticking but I will fix that I think this one here but then I want to have some piece of paper underneath I also have this scrap this is from a digital from Create Paper I think that would also look very good with my collage and it's also tiny florals so I think that also looks great with the Edith Holden book page okay yeah I need to add some extra glue where the um, wallpaper is let's put you here I like it. Then I have these small pieces. I think I would like to have one here. Maybe do I have something with numbers? I don't know. Yes. Oh, great. Uh, where is this going? Yeah. I think that looks great over there. So. I don't have to cover all of that because the duck spot is going to cover some of it. This will be here. I think maybe even to uh, let's stick it out as a tab. I think that would look great. 
Um, let's do this one here. A little bit more of the dark. And now it's still covered up. And maybe, what do we need? We need something else. Maybe some more of this text over here. Uh, but just text, so I don't want to have the border. Let's rip it. I also love to rip paper. I don't know, it's so satisfying to me. <laughs> Gives me such a good feeling. Maybe like this. Yes, okay. Don't think too much, just stick it down. You too, <laughs> don't think too much. Stick it down. It looks fine. I know it looks fine. Overthinking is a serious problem. <laughs> I haven't used this one yet. Do you want to use this one? Or maybe another piece of this... Hmm. I think another piece of this. Uh, but maybe I want to have this side. Yeah, okay. And then... If you want to add it in... Like this. Hmm. I think we do. Or... No. Let's do it that way. Stick, stick, stick. Oh no, not on my bed. No. Oh, Kira, this is new. I hope this mat is a little bit Kira proof because, um, to be honest, I am a vandal <laughs> with my supplies. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very harsh on them. So there's a big chance they will break. <laughs> I found more numbers, so I think I will add that. And then the whole background is now covered. Which is good. And I will take my scissors so we can cut off the excess. And then... I will take a little bit of time to add some extra glue in certain places, but you don't have to watch that. So I will edit that out and I will ink around the page. And then we will I will be back to continue this. I stuck everything down, kinda. And I inked and now I want to create a tab. And then I saw that this has a pink label on the back. So I thought if this was stick out, I would stick it as if uh, you can see this, I want to stamp something in this, I don't know what yet. But um, I also want, of course, to do some embellishing. So I went through my Tim Holtz ephemera thingy and I was thinking maybe something on here to enhance it a little. I don't know, maybe this one. I think I do really like this one. I think it fits. Perfectly, maybe. No, I think this one it fits perfectly, and I don't want to have something yellow here. Maybe this, maybe this flower. I don't know. We also have this card, so I don't know if I want to add necessarily something else underneath here. Because you will just see. So if I have this, how, how does that look? What do you think? Maybe I do need to stick this here. This yellow one. Hmm. Maybe, maybe even a little... A little butterfly here. Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. I... Do I want to layer something behind this? I have some small piece, maybe it's a small label. 
Let's see. With my Tracy Fox labels here. I think I would like to have a brown one. Maybe this one. Oh yes, I like that. Do I also still want one on the other side? Maybe somewhere over here or here. Oh, I like it there. Yes, okay. I'm definitely going to stick that one over there on the other side. Let's go. I just realized that I put this flower upside down. So it's an upside down flower. <laughs> oh, it will manage. It's okay. How they say people who walk fast don't look at it or don't see it and people who walk slow don't look at it. It's a Dutch saying. can't remember completely. Okay. I am going to put you on there and then we need to find a stamp for on the back because I think that would look pretty cool this one and yeah I'm sold I also did some ink inking already on the back so you don't have to watch me ink I think that's the most boring part to watch or the gluing but she says while well, she's gluing <laughs> I'm also constructing the page now, so maybe that's different to look at I don't know um, yeah I'm going to first glue this flower down and then we are going to glue down the butterfly and after that I will find a stamp for the um, What's it called for the back side? So let's look at a stamp. I have field notes here. Um, a big favorite of mine. Let's see if we pick this number. I think this is the perfect size. Oh yes. Yeah, going for the number. Let's take ground. Espresso archival ink. First time using this number. Perfect. Oh yes, I love it. It's great. I can stamp off here because you will not see this. Because it's my tuck spot. I love it. Does it need anything else? If we have it like this. Maybe. No. I thought maybe an eyelet, but maybe not. I don't know. I can always decide that later on. So, how do I want to attach this? I want to slip this underneath. Um, stay down please, thank you. Let's slip this underneath. So do I want to stick it on three sides? Maybe I do. Let's do three sides. So uh, we definitely need to be under this and we need to glue on this side. So I will take my page and turn it around so I can see the height, I think about here. I can also see if it's straight, yes. Okay, turning it. Yeah. Yay. Now. Dry, 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 please. Thank you. I need my date and it is today 2nd of May. So 
let's do 2nd of May and I will I already saw a nice spot mm, too bad now you can see it's May and put the side now can we add our card? Yes, we can. I love it. Does this card need anything extra? Hmm. It already has a floral, so it doesn't need a floral. It doesn't need a label. Or should I just keep it as is? But if I add a label, I have three labels. Yeah, I'm just going to add this label. Because I can. <laughs> and then... That is that for this altered journal page. And I especially like that we stamped the number on the back. Maybe I still want to add an island. I don't know. We will figure that out once I get to that page. So if we have our card in here now, then we are ready for the end result. The end result. I am super happy with it. I love what we created. I love that this just fits in perfectly. So now I have my little uh, specimen slide here. If you want to see this video, there is a video for this. Uh, you can see it in the Junk Journal Ephemera playlist. Amazing, love it. And then I have this card, which I really like and just added the label. And this is the back. I don't know, it's something, I just find it very interesting. And then this is the collage we made on the back side. Uh, it's like a mini master board. I love it. I uh, am so happy that I did dare to use this Edith Holden page in here, which is... Uh, absolutely stunning and I think the both of them go very well together so I am very happy I hope you are too and that you enjoyed this video uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time bye